Hello everybody and welcome back for some more Space Engineers. Today I have to build my before mentioned hydrogen facility, which is currently 560 meters over that way. And hello Marco, thanks for joining. How are you doing today? That is way up. That is falling very slowly. That is weird. Oh well. Uh, yeah, as I said, I have to build a hydrogen facility to get all the ice or to convert all the ice I will get it I will get later and turn it into hydrogen for my spaceships or planes or whatever I'm going to build. I have to turn the music a little bit down. That is way too loud. <clears throat> Um, is this by the immer noch so warm, Marco? Ja, all die Eis. <lacht> Wir hatten gestern 35 Grad und heute 15. Also bei uns ist es definitiv nicht mehr so warm. Alrighty, um... Don't really have an, uh, a layout in mind for that. I think my light is out. Oh, okay. No wonder I don't see anything. Still over 30 degrees. Wow. Well, poor you, I guess. Lucky us that it's not so hot here anymore. <laughs> Uh, hmm, let's empty my inventory first and let's get some steel plates. I want to keep that. So, actually that could be my floor. And I could have... Maybe consider changing. Maybe I should turn that into my floor and have the conveyors uh, in the f below the floor. That might be not a bad idea, actually. That will save me a lot of materials, I think. Okay, what do I want to do here? <clears throat> I say that is the foundation and right here will be my outer wall. Right here. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, what what are you doing for your job anyway? I never asked. Since you are running cables, you might actually be basically the same as I am, which is an electrician. But I think I never asked you that. Yeah, that's how we do it here. Oops. That will be my f ground level. I will have the hydrogen tanks on the ground level, I think, and the O2H2 generators on top, or the other way around. I haven't decided that yet. Ah, okay. Alles klar. 
dann machst du sozusagen das, was meine ganzen Kommilitonen oder viele, sehr viele meiner Kommilitonen in der Uni gemacht haben. Aber unter 20 kV, also nicht Hochspannungsleitungen und solche Dinge, sondern eher das, was nach dem Umspannwerk im Ort verteilt wird, sozusagen. Verstehe ich das richtig? Ich kenne mich damit leider nicht so richtig aus, wie da die Unterteilung ist, weil ich bin sozusagen Krabbelstromelektriker. 24 Volt reicht mir eigentlich schon. <lacht> Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Uh, I need a lot of O2H2 generators here. And I need to space a 3x3 for the tanks, which might be that. 3x3. An aisle in the middle, and here another tank. And of course an aisle on the outside as well. <coughs> Ab 1000 Volt ist okay, dann zählt das also schon als Hochspannung. Ja, das, das sind so wirklich so Sachen, mit denen habe ich mich echt wenig bis gar nicht beschäftigt, weil es einfach nicht, ist einfach nicht mein Ding. Mir reicht's, wenn man rangreift und es kribbelt ein bisschen. Alles klar. Well. Auf jeden Fall schön, mal jemanden zu treffen, der dasselbe macht wie ich. So ziemlich. Also zumindest so von... ...vom Grund auf. I'll make that different here. I'll get the conveyor up here. Like that. Ja, den Begriff Mittelspannung gibt es zwar nicht, aber tatsächlich nutzt den so gut wie jeder. <lacht> also wir haben es in der Uni auch nur unter, mit, als Mittelspannung bezeichnet. Alles was dann, ich glaube, 250 kV oder 75 kV und aufwärts war, war dann glaube ich äh, zumindest bei unseren Dozenten die Hochspannung. Go on the wall here. How tall are the O2H2 generators though? I don't have them in my hotbar yet. I think I don't need that anytime soon. Two blocks. Alright then. <clears throat> Let's go three blocks. Oops. And let's do the half blocks here so that I have a floor that is actually a floor and not containing of just conveyor junctions. Um, all right, uh, three by three. I think I go for the O2H2 generators on the bottom here. And put the hydrogen tanks on top. Which side should be the front though? I think that way. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, uh, well, actually, that might look weird. They are facing a different way. Let's do it like this. <clears throat> Those are turned. That would be nine hydrogen generators per tank. And four tanks, maybe. That should be more than enough for tanks, I think. Oh, okay. Ooh, I could try and do the industrial tanks. I haven't used them before. Why do I do all of that in moldy armor? They have only one at the bottom, though. One at the top. Well, that shouldn't actually matter. Let's see, can I do that with the with bees? I would need one here. I don't have a three way junction like. That. Ah, that is too bad. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Okay. I have not seen any of that so far. <clears throat> I play space Legos. At least that's what I like to call that here. Because it is pretty much space Legos, space engineers. Mm, how should I do that though? I'm not sure. Should I go for that? Oh, yes, I could do that. Does that fit with the industrial tank though? Since they are flat on the underside, I might flip them around like this. That way they look like they are suspended from the top. Well, let's see. Because now the three are connected, and I can put a junction like that in here. And go like this. And in the middle, I do this. need an end piece here. <laughs> Darth Vader who does a coffee break in the cafeteria of the Death Star. Well, yep, that's definitely a humor in itself. But sounds pretty nice. Oh, and by the way, um, concerning Icarus, um, Icarus, I watched a few more videos of Icarus and I really, I really want to get that game at some point. Oh yeah, I forgot, sorry. Um, wegen Icarus, um, ich würde es, würde mir das durchaus gern holen. Allerdings würde ich es mir gern holen, wenn es äh, im Sale ist auf Steam. 
Aber ich hoffe, das ist bald mal wieder im Sale, weil ich bis auf weiteres erstmal doch nicht nach Indien muss. Was mir tatsächlich sehr gut gefällt. Nee, tatsächlich nicht. Mein Kollege, der fährt jetzt für fast drei Wochen hin. Und wenn danach noch irgendwie offene Fragen sind, muss ich eventuell noch hin. Aber das steht jetzt noch in den Sternen. Ob das wirklich so passiert. Ich hoffe natürlich nicht, aber im Endeffekt kann ich auch nichts dagegen tun. Dann muss ich halt hin. Und ja... Da bin ich tatsächlich, äh, Covid sei Dank, rundherum gekommen, um die ganze Geschichte. Äh, Covid sei Dank und meiner Verletzung Ende Mai sei Dank. Ups. <lacht> hey Arshan, how are you? Oops, why am I hurting myself all the time today? Uh, I hope you don't mind me switching a little bit from German to uh, English and back. I try to keep it basically in English so that basically everyone can understand me. But sometimes I switch it up and switch back to German. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, just ask and I will try and answer in the language you prefer. Oh, you understand both. All right. <laughs> Alrighty then. <clears throat> so. That would be the basic layout of one um, unit. One hydrogen producing unit, nine hydrogen generators for one tank. Um, I might put some more tanks on later, but I think I will do it like four times that, uh, two times that unit, which means four large hydrogen tanks, which probably is more than ever need <clears throat> so but I'll leave a walkway in between here actually why not let's leave a walkway in between here and I have sadly sadly have to Kill that tree. Wanted to keep all the trees around here, but that's just not happening with my with the size of the building I'm aiming for here. <coughs> Deutsche Sprache schwere Sprache. Uh, ich habe keine Modlist. Ich kann sie dir aber mal zeigen, wenn du möchtest. Was für Mods ich drin habe, das kann ich aber glaube ich nur im Hauptmenü machen. Ja. Yeah. Okay, I will show you the mod list in a minute. I will just finish the basic layout of those hydrogen tanks here. Go away tree, come on. And then I will show you what mods I have on here and uh if you want i can tell you why i chose that particular mod um, actually i'm going to do that right now because it's getting way too dark now I'm going to fly back did you just 
sorry. Oops. <laughs> that was not what I've planned. That was very close to dying. Uh, you might have mentioned wasted space is actually uh, talking in my ear. Uh, I have one mod, or let's say two mods on here, to actually change the voice of the... Um, oh god. <clears throat> Hello Lisa! And thanks for joining! That was Lisa's walk-on for all who didn't heard that, heard that before. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I have a mod on here that changes the suit voice to actually wasted space spaces uh, voice, which I think is very very amusing, especially since he has a lot of um, uh, different iterations of the same sentence or the same warning on here. Yep, I have all scrap on, I have colored icons on, I have the aerodynamics mod on. Let's save and let's uh, show you the other ones. I have a bunch on here. <clears throat> let's see. I have uh, a quality of life pack on here. Uh, which includes, oh god, I think 17 mods or something like that. Uh, one is a mod that adds uh, some control panels to the lights, for example. Uh, then there is, um, I don't know. Just look for that mod pack on the workshop. There are so many good mods on there. <clears throat> yeah, the aerodynamics, the advanced welding, which I really like. Um, AI enabled and the bot spawner I have on here all as well, since I maybe want to uh, have some bots running around and welding up my stuff. I'm not sure about that yet, I just put it on there. Of course, build vision, that is in my opinion definitely a must have. <laughs> okay, Marco, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> My girlfriend has the same problems when she wanna watch when she wants to watch me. Um I have the outdated clear camera screen on because in my opinion this still works. I haven't tested it yet. Since I haven't played I started playing again I think four weeks ago and before that I haven't played for like a year or two almost. I got some decoys on here because I like to place them around sometimes. Um, that is I think just a mod extension, yes. Ejector to small connector. Um, RFGTEL VF2. I have no idea what you mean by that, Arkan. Hey, Color, how are you? Uh, I have the high powered spotlights on because I also have. Where is it? Space just got real. Which means the night will be dark and full of terrors, probably. That's why I need something to actually see. Uh, a different hut, the hut compass, another spotlight pack, and the ore detector plus mod. Since I'm just simply, f I, just, bleh, I just simply think it's very, very irritating and not really realistic that you can fly through space on a ship you welded with a little torch and 
your auto attack does have a range of 300 meters. That mean that makes just no sense. Oh really? With Warfare 2 you got uh, clear clean camera anyway. Rebels lights and rebel gates. Uh let me write that down really quick. Keep that here. Uh, let me write that down old school on a piece of paper and I will look that up later. Rebel lights and rebel gates. What are they doing? Can you give me a little bit of a <clears throat> of a uh, Zusammenfassung. Uh, what else do I have on here? The plane parts, since I wanna, well, fly some planes. Okay. So you are creating your own mods for the game, I see. Oh, wow. Light is coming out. I think I have to get the window blinds very soon. Uh, yeah, but that is basically what I have on here. Uh, mechanical keybinds is also something I can really, really uh, recommend to everybody. Since that makes it very easy to control cranes with your keyboard. And the armored thrusters are just in case I want to go to space and want to have a good looking and airtight um, spaceship. And of course, sneaky, su uh, sneaky sounds? Oh, sneaky sounds are actually in the quality of life improvements, I think. Uh, yeah, and the sleep mod, because that is something i will do right now once i load it back in which is very good so they are better looking lights and better looking gates am i right there i will check that out later <clears throat> Maybe I will add it even. Bigger gates. Oh, bigger gates is always good. I basically hate that the... What's it called? Um, the airtight hangar doors. That they are just... I think one by eight. So you can have maximum, or well, not even eight, I think four or six is the maximum and then you have to double that. So you can create a gate that is 12 blocks high or something like that and that is just too small for me. <clears throat> One by three. Even just three? Oh wow. That is not better. So let me show you the sleep mod. It is night. It is uh, 2118. Uh, and that mod allows you if you have a, I think it works even with a normal bed, but I have a cryo chamber here. If you go after 7 p.m. or before 6 a.m. I think into a cryo pod, uh, you will quote unquote sleep until it's morning again which is very very handy when you have space just got real installed and night is pitch black and that way you just go into your cryopod and wait until it's light outside again can always hop out. Uh, if you don't hop out, I think it will stop the 
time lapse uh, until it's, I think, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sure about that. I always cancel it manually. Wrong side. <clears throat> that way I have to go. Max opening you got is four blocks. Really? Are the airtight hangar doors that small? I always have some some airtight hangar door mod on or well, most of the times an airtight hangar uh, door mod on to <clears throat> uh, have bigger doors at least a little bit but not a fan oh yeah they really are just three blocks wow three blocks and one is uh taken up by the door itself so <laughs> you can have a four block high at a hangar door you won't be able to make a hangar with uh for small grid chips with that that's for sure <clears throat> all right uh where did I leave off here? I wanted to do some of those and oh crap. I have to weld one up here. I forgot how they were orientated. Oh no wait. Don't I have a mod on here? It shows me that. Well, enjoy. Mount points, mount points. Perfect. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> Cause that now shows me. I think that is the mod build info. And that shows me what's actually the forward side of the block. So I can orient them correctly. Or Let's not say correctly, but as the other ones should be. So. And that is forward in that direction. They all like that? Oh yeah, they all. Okay then. Let's do it. Okay. Um. Overlays off, air tightness. Let's turn them off. Oh no, I can't turn them off yet. Ports. Well, oh, ports is good enough as well. Forward is that way. Oh, I could have actually seen that by the little hole here for the control panel. <clears throat> oh no, I need piping first. I need piping first. Let's put that in between here. Should I do this? I probably should not because I have to go with a pipeline down to the lake from here. <clears throat> so I should use that one as well. Okay. 
there and right there. That might actually look pretty good with the round uh, conveyor pipes instead of the, uh, well, not round ones. Uh, interior plate. Okay, it got it out of the container, all right. Mm. Where did that go? Oh, I haven't placed one there. Okay. And I need to depend it once for here. And now. It should be all piped up in theory. And that should give me a lot of hydrogen. Probably enough for at least one large grid ship. If I ever decide to actually build a large grid ship. <coughs> Are those blocks airtight on the bottom? Uh, they are apparently not airtight whatsoever. But then they should look like this or like this. Yep, they are not airtight at all. Well, oh. Yeah, if you look at them. It makes sense that they are not airtight. You can watch the grass through that. Okay then. <laughs> not airtight. Got it. Alrighty. Let's get the floor. Overlays off again. Oops. Come on, there we go. Crap. Okay. <clears throat> Could even make that two stories if I ever decide to extend it. Just like put a second building like that a few blocks down. And since I'm just seeing that, that the tree is actually flipping into the building. Sorry, tree. You have to go. Uh, what I also want to do on that building is I don't want to have it wind powered like my other building down there. I actually want to try and have it um, solar powered, but I'm not completely sold on that idea yet. Because solar is not very effective in this game. <clears throat> oh, I definitely have to get the window blinds now. Be right back.
Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I forgot to unmute my mic again. Huh, sorry. Did I actually... Okay, that was probably by accident. Uh, but thanks for telling me. 
I just... I'm not really here today, I think. It was the first day that I had to work again after being sick for two weeks, so... I hope you can forgive me that I'm a little bit through today. Also, that button on the top of my microphone is pretty annoying when it comes to getting muted. Because you can basically just flush over it a little bit and boom, you are muted. Nice. I didn't want to, but nice. Oh. Oh. I think I have to get some more ice pretty soon. You know what a really nice thing is? That you don't have to consider static. Like, when will something fall down because it's too heavy in this game? Because I'm pretty sure that would not be possible with that on top. <laughs> but it is in this game. That is something I like. Because in games like, for example, Seven Days to Die, it is not like that. And that costs me a lot of bad times. When you are basically finished with a really nice build, want to place the last thing, you place it and everything collapses because the static is just not there. <clears throat> oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, I definitely have to paint a lot of stuff here. One half I painted in moldy armor and the other half in battered. Not cool. Okay. That should be enough for the rest here. There we go. Now let's make it not look like it's floating. That's not what I wanted. And then I have to figure out a way to make that building look interesting. I like that song. Don't you guys like that song as well? You know what? 
I think I should make that look a little bit more sturdy on the sides here. Uh, geht so. Was würdest du denn gern hören, Marco? Ooh, I need to weld that stuff up before I do that. You're too original too often. Okay. I get that. I don't like the original of that song though. It's just boring, actually, in my opinion at least. That one, that version here, that, uh, that version actually, I think is so upbeat and, f well, friendly in compared to the other one. So, I like that one. And bisschen rap. Ooh, Marco. Ich glaub, da muss ich dich leider enttäuschen. Rap wirst du bei mir nicht hören. Da kannst du noch so sehr betteln, aber Rap wirst du bei mir nicht hören. Das ist überhaupt nicht meins. Und das sage ich, obwohl ich äh, früher sehr, sehr viel äh, 50 Cent und Eminem tatsächlich gehört habe. I like those uh, announcements from uh, Wasted Space as the suit voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seit ich 16 bin, ist Metal Nummer 1. Das kann ich sehr gut verstehen und damit bist du mir auch gleich wieder sympathischer geworden jetzt. <laughs> um, what did I want to do? Uh, was something I wanted to do. What was it? Well, first of all, since I will not be able to see those blocks anyway, let's put some batteries down there. Because I have in my whole base only one battery and that is not enough. <clears throat> side or this side? This side? Mm, you can't see it anyway. Once I'm done here. So, du willst also ein bisschen Metal hören. Das könnten wir tatsächlich hinkriegen. Oh, ouch. And one more thing I should put on here, at least for now, is a seat. Set seat? No, I don't think the normal seat. Yep, the normal seat. No, of course. Let's see if I can weld that stuff up before. Oh no, I definitely will not be able to do that. Seat. 
Will I get the stuff now? No, I won't. Mm. 60s and 70s rock. I like to hear that from time to time too, I have to say. Um, what metal do I prefer? I don't really have a favorite metal band, actually. I like to hear... Mm, Five Finger Death Punch from time to time. And... Uh, of course Metallica. Uh, I don't know, is Vol Volbeat considered metal? I'm not sure about that. I need the control seat here, or the passenger seat. Why is it embedded in the ground though? No, it isn't, it just looks like it. Alright, because now I can replenish my energies. You know what I can do? I do you a favor. Um, I take a look for metal radio. Oh, wow. So next week you're seeing Metallica in concert. Now I'm jealous. You made me jealous. Let's do 80s metal, shall we? Let's play some 80s metal. And it starts with Metallica, who else? <laughs> and to summon Amon Amarth. I saw Amon Amarth, I think... 2019 on uh, at Rock and Park, I think. Or well, they played there, and I wanted to see them, but I didn't make it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Did it replenish my bottles? No, too bad. Uh, batteries. Let's finish those batteries here. Oh man, those need so many power cells. I hope they're getting reloaded now. We recharge 30 minutes? Oh well, there's not really anything working on my grid so far. So that makes sense that they are uh, recharged that quickly. Oh, okay. Are you? Uh, someone who goes to festivals? Or are you more the person to go to a single concert of, well, one band you really want to see? <laughs> but where's the fun in that if you don't fall into the mud. That's not fun. But I mean, if you were drunk and you managed to do that without falling, not too shabby, I guess. Mm. Four minutes, 3.3 kilometers, that is too far. I wait for the next signal. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah.
Your mom had to pick you up? Ah, okay, she had to clean you up, okay. <laughs> well, that stuff happens. We had a really, really bad uh, thunderstorm at the Highfield Festival in, I think, 2018? Might have been 2018, I think. Well, no, no, that was 2017, actually. We had a really, really bad thunderstorm. Um, we were basically two minutes in the rain and we were soaking wet through your underwear everything was wet and we couldn't see anything because of the rain and we had to walk back about 45 minutes from the festival stage to the uh, to our car basically and yeah we, ca uh, we, we ran basically through the campsite. Some people bef uh, in front of us who basically, well, they didn't really show us the way. They just walked the same as we are. And uh, we actually ran on top of some tents that were basically one with the mud under them those poor guys who had to or, try to sleep try to slap in those tents after that that was really really crazy i i have no idea how many tents we destroyed at that uh, evening but I think the the festival store, they have always like a Aldi or Lidl festival store or something like that there. I think they ran out, ran out of tents after that thunderstorm. Because everyone was just trying to get to their tent or their car. And because of the heavy rain, you couldn't see where you were going. So you were just walking straight over all those tents that was crazy yeah we laughed about it same as you la laughing now but i don't think the people whose tents we destroyed weren't very happy well the tents basically were destroyed already when we came through because there were like a thousand people already running over them. But still, that's not something you want to have happen to you. We were very happy because we were with a caravan uh, uh, on there. And yeah, uh, you can't really trample down a caravan, can you? Okay, once I have that foundation finished, I will continue with the wall layout of that and hopefully make it look a little interesting. What I actually might have a good idea for a layout that might actually tell everyone what's in here. Yeah, that should work. That should actually work basically on all four sides. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's do this instead here. 
That song is really old. Mm -hmm. Should I do that or should I go for my... Well, if I... If I get the hydrogen uh, lined at the pipeline out here, I might be able to go this way, probably to here, build a little bit of a pipeline tower, and then do a little turn down here without having to get rid of any more trees. I'm down here though. Could make it work as well, probably. Black Sabbath. I think I saw them at the Rock and Park 2019 as well. I think they were there too. And the purple. I haven't seen the purple though. Uh, I go for my. Uh, before mentioned plan, I think, with the pipeline out on the front here. <clears throat> I think that will look better. This, and then I need end piece like this. And right here will my pipeline come out. With a double hinge setup, I think. But I can show you that later. Now I have to weld up the foundation. That is very. Very uh, quiet right now. Oh, and now it's getting even quieter because the song is over. And now it's too loud, of course. Let's get that a little bit more down, like this. That should do it. Well. I don't know that song. I, like I said, I like to hear metal, but I never, I never really um, got into it. Like I need to hear just that uh, band now for a long time. That was really more rock for me. Rock and punk rock. I hope I didn't make it too too uh, quiet for you. There we go. That should do it, I think. Yep, that is very true. You always have to look for the band you want to hear. And most of the times 
the band you wanna hear is not on any of the platforms. I get that. Really big problem with punk rock, I can tell you that. Put a little bit of a support here so that it actually looks like a proper foundation. That's why I put the batteries on here because that will not be seen. Well, it got better over time now, especially on Amazon, you can pretty much find anything now, at least I haven't. I have not found uh, something I was looking for for a long time. Or I have not not found. Whatever, you know what I mean. Mm, I think that's it here. Actually, that was pretty clever of me to leave the top row like it is, because that way I can put some catwalks on the outside here to make it look better, more interesting. Your battery level will be low on the next beat. Oh, I love that. Wasted space in my ears. Mittelaltermärkte, ja. Das ist tatsächlich auch was, was mich tatsächlich früher zum Beispiel sehr interessiert hat. Wo ich aber leider auch nie dazu gekommen bin, mal zu sowas zu gehen. Ich hatte tatsächlich mal angefangen, mir mein eigenes Kettenhemd zu bauen. Das ist aber schon... Also das ist... Oh, das ist sehr lange her. Also sehr, sehr lange her. Das ist bestimmt... Mh, 15 Jahre her. Mindestens. Okay, <clears throat> and that should actually already be the correct one for that. Go. <clears throat> Are you making your own leather for that? Like, uh, damn, I forgot the word for gerben. You know what I mean? Gerbst du da auch dein eigenes Leder? Catwalks. Let's do the catwalks first so I can figure out the windows on the sides then. Catwalk. Oh, I don't have a mounting point without the windows here. Oh. Okay then, doors it is. <clears throat> Door centered, I think, window door tinted. No, that door, that door is what I want. Offset, exactly. Ooh, where 
is going on with my frames again here? Okay. Um, I think I have to abandon 1440p here. That is very choppy. Don't lose any frames though, so it seems to be the game itself. Hmm. Let's try that. <clears throat> I hope that doesn't work anything else here. Or maybe... Put the shadows to medium and that to 4x. That should be more than enough. That's better. I can live with that. Should I do four entryways? And how will I do the conveyors then? Well, I actually indeed don't need access to the conveyors from here. I actually could do is move the piping to the bottom. Put the piping in the middle just under that because that should then be all piped up through the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. That way I can have four doors. That means I need a hole. <clears throat> Power low. Disconnecting browser. Disabling Netflix. Oh wow, my camera is losing frames. <laughs> ah, look at that, and now my audio engine crashed. Sorry about that, I have to figure out what is going on here. Okay, that didn't help. <clears throat> Let's deactivate the camera for now. And restart that program. Where is it? Oh, apparently it restarted itself already. No, that is not what I want. That is what I want. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get that to work again. Okay. I am definitely back at least. My settings are gone. Let's reset those. Okay, apparently NVIDIA Broadcast just flat out refused to work again. <clears throat> but now it looks good, at least for me. If there is any shopping around, please let me know. But now Space Engineers is running smooth again as well. So apparently um, apparently NVIDIA Broadcast just thought it is already time to 
not work anymore. But it is not. I am not done yet. Bild und Ton asynchron. Ich sehe hier zumindest bei mir kein nichts, was asynchron wäre. Die Kamera ist ein bisschen hinterher, ja. Das stimmt. Ich probiere nochmal einen Reload der Kamera. Und dann schauen wir mal, ob das dadurch besser wird. Nee, ich habe es bei mir auch gesehen, dass meine Facecam ein bisschen hinterher war. Also das war schon richtig. So. Ja, ja, Nvidia Broadcast ist halt leider eine Beta immer noch. <lacht> Die hängt sich halt leider immer mal auf. Auch wenn sie, auch wenn es wirklich ein echt gutes Programm ist. Gibt halt da noch so ein paar Kinderkrankheiten. Ups. That was the wrong one. Das ist jetzt das, was ich möchte. Jetzt ist es besser. Okay, da bin ich ja erstmal beruhigt soweit. Ich hoffe, das bleibt so. Okay. Let's pipe that up. Which also means that I have to build up at least two more hydrogen engines. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Du streamst jetzt nicht mehr, weil dein Internet nicht mitmacht. War das so? Habe ich das richtig in Erinnerung? Oder war das jemand anders? Okay. Zwei Jahre schon. Wow. Das ist hart. Das ist sehr hart. Ich hoffe, bei Markus dauert es nicht so lange, bis er wieder streamen und spielen kann. Denn er hat ja im Moment das, oder sage ich mal, ein ähnliches Problem. Bei ihm geht ja auch nichts mehr. Er hat ja im Moment leider nur mobiles Internet. Das ist auf jeden Fall ein guter Plan. Also eine ordentliche Internetverbindung sollte heutzutage eigentlich bei jeder Wohnung dazugehören. I'm sorry to everyone who's watching that I am slipping up to German all the time, but that's my mother tongue, so that happens sometimes. Oh, I have to weld up a lot of stuff to actually make that work here. And... Oh, I need to get some supports on here so that the tanks don't fall down. So I have to grind that out to get to this middle O2H2 generator. I should have made that beforehand. I should have built that from the bottom. No, okay. Next time. Next time I'm doing that. Oh. There we 
go. Or not. Hast du denn schon eine Aussicht auf einen neuen Internetanbieter, Marco? Okay. Inwiefern schnell? Okay, I have now cargo access for now through here. But now I can do the piping on the bottom to get the cargo access once I have removed that. But first, let's get rid of those so I can weld up the O2H2 generators in the middle. Ah, das kriegen sie tatsächlich auch bei uns inzwischen relativ gut hin. Wenn denn es nicht wie bei uns ist und du nur einen Anbieter hast, der dir die volle Leistung bieten kann. <lacht> ja, Router, ver Router wechseln, neu verkabeln und vielleicht mal einen Tag, wo man mal so als Übergangsphase mal kurzzeitig kein Internet hat, während sie dich äh, umstepseln. Aber viel länger dauert das in Deutschland tatsächlich auch nicht. Wir haben eher das Problem, wir haben zum Beispiel die Möglichkeit, entweder die Prima kommen zu nehmen, die wir jetzt haben, die kacke ist, oder äh, O2 seit neuesten, die bei uns auch Internet anbieten. Problem an der Sache ist allerdings, ähm, Ah, okay. Problem an der Sache ist allerdings, dass Prima kommen die Leitung unterhält. Nee, nicht Prima kommen. Pure die Leitung unterhält. Und die O2 weniger Leistung zur Verfügung stellen, als sie selber anbieten. Das heißt, wir könnten. Ähm, bei Pure, ich glaube, 500.000er DSL haben und bei O2 nur 100.000, glaube ich, waren es. Und ja, das Niedrigste, was O2 anbietet, ist es 250.000. Damit können sie ihren eigenen Vertrag nicht erfüllen und du kriegst keinen Vertrag. Ja, so läuft das in Deutschland. <lacht> uh, forward, okay. <lacht> Und on here, forward is the other way. I probably had a reason for doing that, but I don't remember what it was. <coughs> Ein Tag ohne Internet oh, reicht auch in Deutschland, dass die Leute auf, aufs Dach steigen. Oh, kein Problem. Lieblingsbeschäftigung des Deutschen ist es, sich zu beschweren. Darin sind wir wahrscheinlich Weltmeister. Aber... Du hast ja keine Wahl, leider, als das einfach hinzunehmen. 
Vor allen Dingen, wenn du so wohnst wie wir und nur einen Anbieter hast. Ist denen komplett ausgeliefert. Why the hell did I do it that way? Need to check how that is looking. Ah, I, I remember now. So that the middle is the same side facing to the middle. Okay. Everything good. Everything good. <clears throat> Okay, that is definitely not happening in Germany. <laughs> And probably never will. <clears throat> When you are in a contract in Germany, the contract starts and the contract starts at the 1st of July. Your contract starts at the 1st of July. You have no opportunity whatsoever to uh, get anything earlier what the hell? Oh. that is what happens when you have too many conveyor ports all around you you don't remember which ones the, which are the ones you are actually uh, using <clears throat> Okay, so if I pipe that up on the bottom now, I should have access to cargo. No, I should not because I have to weld up those two first. So I need this and this and then I should have cargo access from here. Yep, that is German accuracy for you. <laughs> <clears throat> Even the Germans don't like it, so I guess that tells you something. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. I really like that they introduced the conveyor pipes. I love those things. I don't use anything else anymore, actually. As soon as it is a conveyor, it has to be a round conveyor pipe for me now. <clears throat> um, even if you don't see it, I have, I just have to use the rounded ones. I love those. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I I'm bad at remembering such things. <clears throat> I forgot that you are an East German boy too. That sounds weird though. And now that and then I should have cargo access once I weld all that stuff up here. Ooh, I need to be careful what I weld up first. This is the part I have to weld up definitely last.
from East Germany to the east of Switzerland. Yeah, well, why not? <clears throat> At least you don't have to remember any new Himmelsrichtungen. I have no idea what that's called in English. <clears throat> Give me my materials. Oop. There. Oh, there we go. From where in East Germany are you from again? I don't remember if I ever asked you that. Bam, bam, and that should be it. Mach die Bursch. I have, I've actually been to Magdeburg a couple of times. Um, I had a friend there. She, she studied in Magdeburg. Uh, can't quite remember what exactly she studied. Something with chemicals, I think. And I went there for some sort of festival a couple of times. I really liked it. I had also always good weather when I went there, so that helped. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked it. Nice city. Haha! -ha! Look at that. I have cargo access here now. I mean, I had cargo access on that one before that, but... I have even now cargo access. <clears throat> oh, I to get rid of that. A new year, a steel plate cannot get to an inventor. I so like those wasted space sound effects uh, on the um. on my suit now. Uh, I need that one. Um, like that, and that should do it. And that looks way better now, in my opinion. Oh, I actually need a full block here. <clears throat> there we go. Done. Um, I need to put the seat somewhere else, though. Um, Doesn't really matter where I put it, I think. Uh, how am I going to do this? Three by three window here and here. Should I go for three by three from here? Oh, I think I think I did. And that means I should have room right here to put a seat. Here we see the space engineer in his natural habitat, about to keel over. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. That is replenished, and I think I don't have enough ice anymore. Oh, just. Okay, it's enough for at least one and a half bottles, I think, still. Not bad. Be worse. <clears throat> But let's play the safe here. Fly down to the lake when it is morning, when I slept. And then get a load of ice. Sleeping. That is enough. <clears throat> that sleeping mod is really really nice i so much like that one uh how about oh i did put up pick up some ice Warning, please check inventory for extraneous tools. Boom, now I should be good for ice, at least for a while. At least until I have that building finished here. I always go to the wrong damn O2H shoot generator. What's going on with me today? Okay, uh, I need probably enough if I go one higher now. Like this, or should I go like this? Since I will have windows here anyway, I might as well go like this. Oh, I can't put a window on. No, I can't put a window on that. Ah, who cares? <clears throat> I will have the design I want at three sides, so three quarters, good enough for me. Okay, windows. It is window time, and I need a lot of them. Window, window. Uh, one by one, one by two, two by three, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, I need Girls. Don't need that many. Okay. Uh, I want to have... Apparently I cannot place that right now. Okay then. Two by three. Should I go like this or like this? Right 
probably should go like this actually. Do this, then I have one in the middle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I should do. Probably should go for that. It's too bad that you don't have like a two by two window. That wouldn't make it way easier to do such a thing. I have two down here. I need another two up. So I need to put one here. Probably. Then a two by three. Oh, I got a three by three even. Hmm. But that will probably get the look I'm looking for messed up. <clears throat> so I go like this. Put another one by two on top. Like this. And then put a one by one right in here. Like that. I am actually able to have a big H on every side of the building, except for the side that's facing the lake, since that's the spot where my uh, bayer line will come out, I think. Uh, yeah, I will actually have an, a big H on the building where a lot of H2 is in. So, yeah, that's what I'm going for here. And on top here, I can just go with that again. Like this. And a normal half block like this. And if I weld all that up, it should be a pretty nice big H. The hell? What the hell? Why is it getting rid of my... first hot bar here. <laughs> okay. That is something I have to look into. <clears throat> that is one mod not doing a good thing. Um... Should I, do I have to do like that to actually keep it? Apparently not. Apparently from hotbar six onwards, it deletes hotbar one. Hmm. Okay, I wrote it down. Let's see if I can figure out how to change that 
because that is just weird. Um, one by one, it's in there. Good thing I don't need it right now. Then I just have to design a interesting wall, which is always interesting or oh, fun. I don't think it's fun, but gotta do what you gotta do. Done. And there. And last ones. Now only the one by one in the middle. Oh yeah, I can't put one put one on here. I'll just color that one black, I think. We'll see. Or I just leave it like that. Maybe it looks good anyway, since it's it will have uh two what's it called? Two hinges. And then a conveyor line on the outside anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do that as well so that I have all of that the same way. go perfect <coughs> now what I want to do is I want to have a full wall here but uh, I don't know, maybe yeah, I can do that differently see i want to have like a little bit of a rounded curve to the top Hopefully. get rid of those and i'm actually want to have that starting right at the edge of the window here right at that corner to go a little bit angled Let's see if I can manage to do that and how maybe like that why not That might work.
I put that in here, I can put not that one, that one in here now. And I should be able to clear right there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That is working. Then I only have to get it out until it's an actual edge, okay, an actual corner. Maybe I can even Where is the part I am looking for? Here maybe? Oh, that's the big one. I don't want to have the big one. I want to have that one. Yeah, there we go. Because <clears throat> that means I can go from here with a half block starting here. And then go to a full block so that I can put a layer on top here. Or a probably a cargo container so I have cargo access from the top. And then I just have to figure out something for the solar array, which I wanted to put on top here. But first, let's do this. That's not correct. No, I used the other one. I used that one. <coughs> Chem is wieder asynchron. Uh, nicht bei mir. Vielleicht eine Viertelsekunde. Maximal bei mir. Das könnte also eventuell wieder bei dir liegen, das Problem. Wenn's bei, wenn du reloadest und es nicht besser wird, sag bitte nochmal Bescheid. Dann starte ich nochmal neu meine Cam. 5 Sekunden. Oh, wow. Das ist viel. Ähm... Um. Mach mal nur einen ganz normalen Deactivate und Reactivate. Natürlich sind jetzt wieder meine Einstellungen weg. Ähm, ist es jetzt besser? Ich hoffe sehr. Bei mir war es, wie gesagt, nicht sehr... Eigentlich, eigentlich gar nicht spürbar, dass ich wieder ein Desync habe. Passt, sehr gut. Da bin ich beruhigt. Was auch immer mit äh, Nvidia Broadcast los ist heute, es ist heute mal wieder besonders schlimm. Warum auch immer. <lacht> Und das dahin. Und hier nicht. Ja, 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 es nimmt Gestalt an. Definitiv Gestalt. Okay, I'll wait next time. <laughs> Maybe. If I can remember it. Okay. Um. Oh, I need 
to replenish my hydrogen soon. My last bottle. And it was somewhere around here. Okay, and now, theoretically, oh, look at that! Could have built the whole thing a little bit edgier. Ah, not today. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sure if I will reach the bottom soon enough like that. Actually, I think I need to change that here. Maybe I should use that one. I have no idea though if I have a block that fits in here. Sure. I'm not sure at all. Let's see. That is not fitting in here. Is not either. Maybe I can find one here. Nope. Nope. Oh, that is not good. I think I found another block that is just not fitting with any other one. Would have had the, the right one for the top, but not for everything else. Okay. I need to rethink that. Because that will probably not work. Let's see if I can get down there. I am here now. Full block, I think. At least for now. Put a full block in here. I don't really need to put a full block in here. I just need to put the correct one in here. Like that. And now that one. Oh, that might just work. Fingers crossed it will. Oh, it just will not. Grrr. <laughs> Grrr. have to put 
that one or that one in here. Probably go for that one. Oh well, what can you do? <clears throat> Does it look good though? Yeah, I think so. I think I can go like that. I will have few problems, I think, with leaving enough room here and make it look smooth on the inside. But I've had worse. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think I can do that. Now I just have to get it uh, same way on all sides. Mm, that. Um, like this. And that should do it. And, up, and let's replenish my hydrogen before I run out. Calls running out of hydrogen, not a good idea. Usually hurts. A lot. Especially when you are high up and hit the ground at high speed. No, actually, especially on those sides here, it fits in perfectly if I use that one here. Yeah, yep, yep, that's what I'm going to do. Change of plans. Boom, and bye bye. And let's do that here as well. Here, here, that, and that. Oh, oh, oh. I got a treat again. You want to know what it is? 
Lisa just brought me Panna Cotta. Yeah, there we go. With fresh strawberry cream on top and fresh strawberries. Very nice. I'm going to enjoy that. Hey, Black Dragon, how are you? What are you doing right now except watching me try and get my hydrogen facility done and getting a treat by my girlfriend? Oh, I like panna cotta. I am looking forward to that in a few minutes. But first, let's get that building a little bit more finished. Oh. Ah, come on. There we go. <clears throat> I actually be able to make a smooth transition here. Not sure. Mm, no, that's the one I want. Okay. I have no idea if I even have a block that fits in here. Hmm. Don't think there is a block that fits in here. I might have to go directly up. Those are all full blocks here. And that <laughs> well that would work for one side but not for the other <laughs> that is also not going to work mm. mist 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 Take a bite from my panna cotta while I think about that here. <clears throat> Metallica. Nice. Hmm, that is too bad. I was actually looking forward to having a nice transition here, but with that, I think that will not be possible. <clears throat> At least not to go from a half block to a full block. Don't have the necessary blocks here as well. Cause it's always full block. That's not fair. Wow. 
That is a close signal. I can actually walk there. I'll take that. Oh, hopefully it's not a rolling one, but it doesn't look like one. No, that should not be rolling away. Except for... <laughs> See, sorry. Except for gravity. What do you have for me today? Rainbow gloves again. Oh man. So many rainbow gloves. No. I think there might not be fitting all of the parts in my inventory. Maybe just. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. Another set of gloves. Already have them on. <clears throat> Ouch. Um, put that in here. And I need stuff. Uh, well then, hard transition it has to be, sadly, like that. I need a full block anyway, since I want to have a cargo container on top here, to have cargo access from the outside. But... That's how it has to be, I guess. It's really bad that you haven't have uh, don't have a lock that actually actually fits to that one. Could go from here now, but what do I put in here? There is nothing that fits on here that's only a half block height. Brr. Oh. oh, come on. <clears throat> Actually, a little bit like a crown now. <laughs> um. Okay, there we go, very good, almost make a pyramid out of that one here, pyramid with two, four, six, eight edges. That would be interesting on the end. Because <laughs> there's also no block that fits in there. Let's close up the roof now. Uh, 
Bam. 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 Okay, that should do it. <clears throat> Cargo containers. Apparently, I don't have interior plate. Just like that. Mm. Let's put it in that direction. Put it faces to my main production facility. Of course, I placed that wrong. Okay, now I have to go from here to a half block. Uh, but since I want to have a little bit more than one. <clears throat> Uh, point of contact to my um, hydrogen tanks. That's the word I was looking for. I want to do it like this for the edges. Okay, that is now probably a good place to put a big X on it in either armor or I fill that out here. Windows. Let's start by putting or going to a full block here. Should I do that or should I do it differently? I think I should actually go for that. It will probably look decent from the inside and it definitely won't look bad from the outside. <clears throat> Not a lot of choice, but to go for a full block here. And now, if I do oh, I forgot about the solar panel apparatus on top. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Let's go for half blocks on that side here. In the middle and should I do the rest windows? No, I think I should not. Since I will have a solar array on top here anyway, I might as well go for Full blocks completely. Because, of course, I want to have a solar array that actually adjusts to the sun um, with Izzy's solar alignment script. Well, I might as well close that up here. I 
fell down then. I'm gonna have to fall. Falling very fa far. That's yeah, okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> My big hide, which I'm critical. It's done. Almost. Mm, what am I going to do here? I could go for that, maybe. I go instead for that. I think that looks better. So like this, I can just leave that in basically pieces probably. I will see how it looks when it when I weld it up. But those blocks can't be changed from that side anyway unless I put new blocks in. And that would probably ruin a lot of the headroom I have here. <clears throat> that means also I can go for that. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, and one more thing that is good about that, I can leave my power chair down here. <clears throat> I should start welding some of that stuff up, at least the outside walls. Mm, should I go for that? Why not? That doesn't look too bad. It's not going to be airtight, but who cares? I'm on the earth like I don't need airtightness. I need it to look good. That might actually look good. No idea how to put lights in here after that, but that's a problem for future Andre. Let's go to sleep. Good morning, everyone. I so like that mod. That mod is just awesome. Do I have actual beds on here? I... Anyway, I do. I wonder if those are working for that as well, or the, if you have to have a I obey for that. Need to test that at some point, but I haven't put in living quarters yet. <clears throat> uh, don't tell that future, Andre. 
Marco. That would be very rude. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> that is a lot to weld up. You know what? I got a welding ship. Let's get the welding ship. Ow! Ow! My welders are still on. Ow! I just fried myself. Damn it. Probably should heal myself. Oh, are my bottles looking not very good? Okay, let's keep away from the welders this time. Uh, I need that inventory and I need steel plates and I don't have a lot. And girders and bulletproof glass as well. <clears throat> Maybe I should put another one or two assemblers on here somewhere. I won't need that one anymore. Should have checked if there's ice in there. Which there probably is. Oh, that's not a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put a third assembler on that grid here. Mm. Don't have the assembler anywhere on the hopper. And I will need the speed modules as well. And I wanna have green please. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. There we go. And now oh, let's get some speed modules of that thing. Which is correct way? Is there a wrong way? There is Apparently not. Good thing that I don't need uh, any gold for those speed modules. Two, three, and four. Oh! Stay away from those welders. You know what? Why not turn them off? That way I can't fry myself anymore. Okay, now I shouldn't run out of steel plates so fast. Ooh. If my power situation is that bad, if you look at my wind turbines, how slow they are turning, then I might actually have a problem with steel plates. Um. Plates, girders, 500 girders is probably more than I ever need down there, at least I hope. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Three assemblers with speed modules on. Pretty good. Let's put a higher quota on my auto crafting LCD. Steel plate, let's put that up to a thousand. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now I need to wait until all that stuff is produced, I think. Get more than 500 girls with me, that should be enough for those few windows, I think. And I think I will not fill up the welders or the connector since that will probably end badly with the amount of sideways, forwards and reverse thrust I have on that thing. <clears throat> but also a future entry problem. As soon as I'm building a bigger building, I will have to think about remodeling my welding ship. Because that thing is definitely not flying well. But it is doing its job. Okay, almost filled up with steel plate. We go. Ah, you know what? Let's put those hundred with me as well. Okay, batteries are on auto. Let's unlock and let's fly down there. And of course it's getting foggy when I fly around with that thing. <clears throat> Let's start at the bottom. Hopefully not ram any trees. I am so glad that I built that thing, even though it's flying basically like a brick, worse than a brick. <clears throat> it helps so much with welding those big parts. That song is... Very old. I haven't heard that in so long. Oh, no, 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 
no, no, no. That thing doesn't like to tilt at all when it's fully loaded. Let's get that thing done here now. Probably already out of liquid glass, am I? Mm, I not yet. Okay, now I'm out of bulletproof glass though. Yep, <clears throat> definitely. No bulletproof glass anymore. Tilting again. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's do the worst part now. I'm pretty much empty. Try and get the roof welded up. Don't think my steel plates will last for that. Mm. <clears throat> oh, it actually might be enough. Nice. Didn't think that would happen. Nice, 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 nice. I think now I'm out. Let's get rid of the rest of the girls. Wow, that thing is very, very hard to fly when it's full and very twitchy when it's empty. Because of this massive amount, massive amounts of lift. All right, I don't need any more girders. Just need a load of bulletproof glass and a few steel plates now. And 
then the basics of my hydrogen building should be done. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I bet 2,000 steel plates should be enough. Um... Let's make it a thousand. Oh, I don't think it's keeping that in here. No, it's not. That's not nice. But, alrighty then, let's put the quota on bulletproof class up as well. <clears throat> I want to do a lot of things out of glass anyway, so I think that's okay. I wonder if my batteries are depleting now with all... No, they are still recharging and pretty fast too. Not bad, I had not think that would be possible. But nice, very nice indeed. Okay. Will that be enough, or should I completely load up all of that stuff? I think that should be enough. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Not so fast though. Going fast and this thing will end in tears. I think. Oh, what did I just destroy? Sure, I destroyed anything at all. But I saw parts flying away. Mm. Ow! Fried myself again. Mm, but there's no scrap here, so apparently I didn't blew anything up. Well, good for me! <clears throat> Height. Oh, I forgot about all the wall things I haven't welded up yet. I probably need to get back and get some more steel plate. Might actually not be enough steel. Plate. Am I already out of? Oh. Crap, I'm already out of bulletproof glass again. I did not see that coming. The hell. And for some reason I still have girdles in my inventory. 
Well, that wasn't too clever, was it? <clears throat> How much? Bulletproof glass. Oh, wow. That is a lot of bulletproof glass I need for that. No wonder I ran out so quickly. Oh, well, good thing I upped the quota for those. That will help me in the future, I hope. Uh, but I will not uh, fly back with my welding ship now here. I will weld up those few things by hand. Should go pretty quickly. At least the uh, windows. I know that I still have to weld up all the inside, but I can't reach that with the ship anyway. So. Let's go back. <clears throat> Probably should find a better spot parking spot for that ship. Oh, I did destroy something. Just noticed I almost killed my... Well, I killed my connector, but I haven't blown it up. I left 14 steel plates in there. Wow. Switch lock. And let's empty out the ship. <clears throat> there we go. The rest is hand welding. And I think the H on the sides make it actually look pretty neat. I may have to change up that though. Don't really like that I have a like a edge here but not down here sure how to do that though don't really wanna change up the inside though I'll just leave it probably <clears throat> It won't bother me after a while anymore, so might as well leave it there. Which one? please uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man that is a lot of bulletproof glass for those big windows Damn.
that is already finished. That is finished as well. So that should be the last windows. Looks like it. Ow. Why do I always fly against things? <clears throat> okay then. You know what? I'm going to weld up the inside here. And then I think I might call it a night. go and the next thing I will have to do is get some lights in here probably <clears throat> and maybe start with the conveyor line down to the lake and build a drill rig below the lake That is what I want to have, ultimately. A drill rig below the surface of the lake, so that the surface of the lake itself stays as it is. I am just hating to see like a big hole right in the middle of the lake or something like that. Not a fan. Come on, oh. that and that is welded up already. <coughs> Need to set up a timer for the doors as well. Going to do that next time, too. Okay. Now for the fun part. Let's weld up all of those O2 H2 generators. And do eight, and the middle ones are already welded up. Well, that means four times, and I am done. Well, except for the biggest tanks at the top, of course. Be nice if the well, ah there we go. Welding animation working again. <clears throat> okay then. Very good, very good indeed. Oh, and I definitely need to put put the little ones. Okay, I definitely have to put some other colors on here. That is way too uniform, uniform white.
Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I might have an, just had an interesting idea to speed that up here. Since I have conveyor ports all over here, why not build a grid rover? Ah, too bad. Oh, it does have ports on the side. Well then, this should in theory work. Let's see. That looks pretty much like it's working. Well, that will make things easier, will it? At least for those here. And if I don't grill myself again. <clears throat> Turn it on as well. Um... seem to be able to reach that one. Oh, it is. Ah, I'm out of large steel tubes. Okay. That will take a while then. <clears throat> Alrighty. But, not too shabby. We just have to weld up these two, I think. Oh, these two. But then, and I'm done. I think I ran out of materials with the grid welders now. Why did I put them all in moldy armor? Oh man. <laughs> Okay, I think that should be all of them. It is. Why is it not welding up those? Should in theory have enough large steel tubes. You do realize I'm the one keeping you alive. Maybe you should keep my battery topped up with that as well. Nah, why would I do that? Hmm. That is very strange. It started welding that up. And then just quit. Do I have to restart them? Probably not. Alright then. I'll do it by hand. It's not that much anyway anymore. 
Those are done. I do like the look of those new um, hydrogen tanks. They look way better than the old ones, in my opinion. But probably really not for a ship, since you most of the time need the extra conveyor ports on the side to actually place thrusters when you put it build a big ship. Why do I have so many stuff in my inventory still? That makes no sense to me. Um, okay. <clears throat> Charge me or I'm cutting off your O2. Charge me or I'm cutting off your O2. <laughs> okay, wasted. I'm sorry for eating in front of you, but that panna cotta is just too good. Oh, my base is almost out of hydrogen. How much do I actually have in my tanks now? Because <clears throat> they should be starting to fill. Zero. 0 0.4 0 0 okay that is not a lot that's actually 0 0.1 percent hydrogen wow this side first here Oh, I forgot an O2H2 generator here in the middle. Uh, let's oh two actually. <clears throat> okay then. Let's change that. Hit the roof too fast. That is going to hurt. A little bit. <clears throat> oh, I shouldn't forget the. Um... Oh, I actually can reach them from here. The cargo containers on top. Hell, that was a creepy laugh. There we go. Only 
two conveyor lines left. Oh, and the solar array that I keep forgetting, which I don't really have a plan for yet. Okay, was that everything? It sure looks like it. Perfect. <clears throat> Only the last few bits to do. Getting very dark outside again. And there we go. Hydrogen building done. Almost. I don't like the look of that. Nope, I definitely don't like the look of that. <laughs> um, let's make the white again and put a normal half block in here. Probably even. A slope. Like that. Yeah, that looks better. Now I'm done. Say hello to my new hydrogen facility. Now I only need to figure out a way to put a decent solar array. Probably foldable, which would be great, but I don't know if I can adjust Izzy's a solar Izzy's solar alignment script that it will close the array once the sun is down. Doesn't look too bad actually. Looks a little bit like a pinhead, but I'll keep it like that. It's my little pinhead building. <clears throat> All right, then. That means I uh, will go into my cryopod and go to sleep. And then I will check to whom I'm going to send you tonight. <clears throat> Let's see. I will turn off the music since that is the same audio line as which is going to be because I want to check to whom I'm going to send you. And I don't want to bother you with the, uh, well, with the 
commercial step will probably come. <clears throat> there are a lot of German people on here right now. Um, you know what? I'm going to send you to Red Munchkin Gaming again. I think I've sent you to him already. Or... Looks actually not that bad either. Oh, that looks. Oh, what a perfect. Oh, he's doing PvE. Or PvP even. You know what? I'm going to send you to him today. That looks pretty interesting. He's doing some PvP, I think. All right, Marco, have a good night, and I hope I see you soon. You can keep t uh, stay around for the raid, though. That would be great, because I will send you away any minute now. <clears throat> so, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, you know what to do. If you didn't like what you saw, you know what to do as well. And I hope I see you guys in the next one when I will uh, continue with my hydrogen power plant or my hydrogen production facility by putting a conveyor line down to the lake and a drill rig down in the lake. So I wish you a good night. And I see you guys for that in the next one. See ya.